So with that, I would like to present Jim Hawks with this wonderful award. This is a very humbling experience. The International Society of Poetry is a most sought after place for poets to come and express themselves and compete and share and collaborate. And so this is a very special award and I cherish this award. It uh, is all about expression. I haven't always been a poet. In fact, I've never taken a poetry class or ever been educated in poetry. Where did that come from? I used to have a highly stressful job at the newspaper agency where I had to process and get maybe three or four hundred ads out every day. So the buck stopped on me, so there's a lot of pressure. And because of that, I was seeking places to learn how to relax. And what I ended up doing was starting to meditate. And it is from meditating that I gained a, what I call a higher consciousness or an alpha state in which I was able to get these ideas and concepts that would bring me to write them down and express them. At first, I just handed them out to people that I worked with to get their response. I really didn't know what they would say. But the responses were positive, so I decided to keep going. I decided that it would be important if I could share a couple of these poems with you but before I do that, I want to tell you that my poems are not your typical poems. They're what they call metaphysical poems. They're, they're about higher concepts of the mind and spirit. And <clears throat> speaking of spirit, I'll read this one to you, and you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. <clears throat> this one is called Chasing the Spirit. I hear calling and run to the door, but there is no one there. I hear beautiful singing, but when I try to understand the words, the song disappears. I feel breezes blowing through me, but I can't hold on to them. I see faces in the clouds, but when I try to speak to them, they turn into clouds again. I smell the fresh scent of a just-picked flower. But once picked, the scent has soon gone. I see the curtain open to my worldly play, but all the actors are me. I close my eyes to sleep and dream, but when I awaken, I have forgotten. I believe we're all on a path of learning, and at certain times in our life we start to ask the age-old questions. Why am I here? Who am I? And when we start to seek and are in earnest, the answers start to come. We start to make choices based on our awareness. Then we take responsibility for our lives and try to find meaning. I believe my purpose is to express myself artistically and hope the words will take you to far-reaching places of your mind. A little thing I snagged from the internet about mystical poetry. It says, mystical poetry is, is one of the most powerful expressions of a mystic's inner experience. By nature, a mystic is able to access higher states of consciousness that is beyond the usual awareness of humanity. At a certain stage, mystics and great seekers have said it is impossible to describe the consciousness they have attained. However, through poetry, it is possible for poets to give a glimpse of higher worlds. Like a finger pointing to the moon, they are inspiring utterances of poetic description 
of their elevating experience. I'll share another one with you, another poem of mine. This one is called The Gift. The gift is the present. The master said, do not fear death. Gather years, not lies. There is much light in the universe if you will look for it. Remember, you are the observer. You are here to learn, to watch, to think, and most importantly, to open your heart. Do not dwell on sickness or death. The ego hides behind a mask of fear. It is your adversary. Share your time, your joy, and you will be wealthier than those who have gold. Experience your life, not someone else's. Time is an illusion. Stay in the present. Bathe in the mystery of every moment. The gift is the present. Expand your mind, your life, your love, your joy, and you will find eternal bliss. The Master said, you are the Master. So thank you once again for this award. It gives me great pleasure. And I'm in great gratitude of achieving this, and I will cherish this very much. Thank you once again.